Imagine this. It's 9 a.m. on Monday. You shuffle into the office, coffee in hand. You're ready to battle another week of endless meetings, but you notice something different. There's a new hire sitting at the desk across from you. They don't need caffeine. They don't make small talk. And most importantly, they don't have a body. Meet virtual employees. They are designed to work alongside humans or potentially instead of them. So should this prospect bother you? What is a virtual employee and is your job in danger? Let's start with the term itself, virtual employee. Simply put, these are AI agents, bots running on artificial intelligence. They were mentioned in Sam Altman's blog post. He is the founder and CEO of OpenAI. He wrote, and I quote, We believe that in 2025, we may see the first AI agents join the workforce and materially change the output of companies. Sam Altman believes this is the year, 2025, is when AI agents clock in with us. No need for onboarding or benefits, just plug them in and they're ready to go. Technically, he's not wrong. Some companies are already ahead of the curve. Take McKinsey, for example. They have partnered with Microsoft to build a new AI agent, one that is capable of handling client inquiries. Yes, they want an assistant who does not complain about back-to-back -back meetings. And they aren't the only ones. OpenAI2 is planning to launch its own agent called Operator. It can write code. It can take care of all menial tasks. Then there's Microsoft's new AI suite. It's called Copilot Studio. Anthropic has also launched a new AI model. This one can move the mouse cursor and type out text. So you get the gist. These AI agents seem to be the future. McKinsey predicts that 30% of US work hours could be automated by 2030. That's a lot of jobs getting a digital makeover or potentially disappearing altogether. If you think about it, it is kind of unnerving. So the big question now is, are they here to replace us? In some cases, yes. In fact, in a lot of cases. AI could impact 300 million jobs. That is a projection, 300 million jobs. That's about 9.1% of all jobs in the world. According to the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, 60% of all jobs will be affected by AI in some way. So yes, AI is coming for your job in some way. But before you dust off your resume, consider this. These agents aren't flawless. Some of them are in the development stage. They have their own car crash moments. Also, there are ethical dilemmas, like who controls these agents? How do we ensure that they do not perpetuate biases? How do we prevent them from wreaking havoc? And more importantly, will they ever understand the subtle art of office small talk? You see, AI excels at repetitive data-driven tasks. They can process inquiries. They can schedule meetings. What they cannot do, at least not yet, is empathize or dream up big ideas. For that, you will still need humans. So here is the bottom line. Virtual employees are no longer science fiction. They're here reshaping the workplace in real time, but they're not perfect. And let's face it, they lack the human touch. So will they replace us entirely? Highly unlikely. Will they change how we work? Absolutely. So the key is to resist, not to resist this wave of automation. It is to evolve with it. We embraced computers, email, and the internet, and we can do the same for AI. Find a way to collaborate, learn to work with these new virtual colleagues. Lean on them for what they do best and focus your energy on the things that only humans do best. Because at the end of the day, the magic of the workplace is not just about efficiency, it's also about the human spark. And no algorithm can replace that.